Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Modupe Shode coming your way today. How is everyone doing? So first of all, before I get started today, I want to actually express my condolences to those who have lost family members to COVID-19. I pray that God Almighty will comfort you and comfort every family member in the mighty name of Jesus. And today, I just want us to reflect about the lessons, our experiences about COVID-19. So I have some friends here today with me in this video that will be sharing their experiences. I have my young friends with me. I have some adults with me too. I think I have only one adult in the video. But just make sure you listen because we are learning. I know we are gradually transiting into our regular society. But I just want us to learn from each other. And as you listen to these friends of mine today, if you want to share your own experiences, your lessons with us, feel free to drop them. Or send me a video and I will surely play it in one of my subsequent videos. We just want to learn from each other. I know we are all making history, but we need to learn from this history we are making so we can live a better life post-COVID. Thank you for staying with me today. And I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to all of my friends that took their time to create the videos and you know they sent them to me i really appreciate you and i say the lord bless you so don't go anywhere don't press the dial just stay with me and let us learn from each other thank you okay girls um so what have you learned during this uh, quarantine the lockdown coronavirus being home for the family Mariah, you want to start yeah, I've improved things, I've got new talent, and I also learned that we should stay a few steps away from people. A few steps away from people? You can say hi or hello, mm -hmm. Wait, but you can't go that close to them, because you never know when they can have the coronavirus. And I've also learned more talent. Talents like what? Um, like standing up and riding my bicycle at the same time. Okay. And I also improved my drawing and reading. That's good. All right, Michelle. During the coronavirus pandemic slash, slash isolation, um, I found out that I'm pretty good at drawing. I've done a lot of baking with my sisters and that was really fun. I also improved on my computer coding skills. Good. Um, and yeah. All right. So um, what, has there been any advantage of being on a lockdown? So for example, maybe more family time. What would you say has been a benefit of this, uh, the last few months? Uh, I'm out. Mm -hmm. I picnics outside. Picnics, okay. Favorite. Well, I enjoy the family time. My favorite part would be watching movies with the family and eating outside on hot days. Mostly the, the dessert part. Okay. But, yeah. All right. Is there anything you'd like to say to other children? Maybe children who miss going to school or who just who are tired of being home? I hope you guys are safe. Okay. Um, well, some people might think that online school is, well, horrible, but I like online school. It's, to, for me, it's easier. It's easier online than in class. It gives me more opportunity to search online for things that I'm not sure about. Mm -hmm. Okay. But one disadvantage about that is how I can't really ask my teacher about any questions that I have about our work or anything like that. Okay, but you're doing good with your online schooling? Yes. All right. Mariah? Um, mm -hmm. If you don't like staying home, 
like me, I would rather have fun with my friends and, not, and rather go to real school than to online school. I would, this is some advice. Mm -hmm. You actually get to spend more time with your family because in the other days when you have, have your your parents were always tired of taking you to school. But now since the coronavirus happened, you actually have more time to spend with your family. And if you didn't know that more people spend time on their electronics before, they spend time on their laptop, phones, and tablets. But now since the coronavirus happened, they actually learn to actually spend time with their family. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, well, thank you for giving us some wisdom today. Have a good night rest. I know you're getting ready to go to bed. So good night. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I want you to share your experience with your friends out there. What did you learn from COVID-19? Being at home with your family members, not being able to go to school, not being able to go to the park. You're always at home. What did you learn from that experience? I learned that I learned that I'd never be embarrassed by anyone who calls you a loser because when you get there, that person won't be there. You just have to forget about it because it's only going to be you, your family, and God. Good. What else? I'm <sighs> okay, so another question hints. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to learn? online to be on google classroom because i know you were not able to go to school you have to do your school online so which one do you prefer do you prefer to be online on google classroom learning or to be in class with your friends and your teacher which one do you prefer so i i prefer school because it's better to communicate with your teachers and you get to spend time with your classmates what else That's why did you why did you like school i liked school because all my teachers and all my classmates are so nice. Okay, so what, advi what, what advice do you have for your friends that are watching you right now that are still, you guys are still in this situation, you are still praying to God to bring us out. So what advice do you have for your friends out there? Stay calm, everything is going to be alright everyone. And, and you always have to trust God that this will end soon. This will end soon. Thank you for those amazing words. God bless you. Bye. Hi. Hi. So, I have a quick question for you. I want you to share your experience with your friends. What did you learn from COVID-19? Not being able to go to school, being at home with your family members, Monday to Friday, morning till night. What did you actually learn from that experience? I learned that we should always thank God for everything we do, and spending time with our family is not that bad. So it's actually kind of a great time to spend time with your family, so yeah. Okay, number two question. I know you were not able to go to school, so you had to continue with your um, study online. You were doing Google Classroom. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer to be in class or to study on Google Classroom? Which I one? prefer to be in class because it's better to, like, it's better with your collaboration stuff. But on Google Classroom, you can only type. You can't see them virtually. So I actually prefer school, not online school. You prefer school, not online school. What else? Why do you prefer school? Any other point apart from being able to play with your friends and collaborating uh, with your friends? What else? Another thing is that um, it's really it gets really bored when you can't really see your teacher when like you have to type and she has to she has to type to you what you should do because it's it's kind of harder that way when your teacher actually speaks to you in person it's easier. Okay, thank you, thank you. So the last one, do you have any advice to your friends that might be watching you right now, going through this situation with you? Do you have any advice for them? Anything you want to tell them? I would say stay strong and it's going to be ending soon, so yeah. Stay strong, it's going to be ending soon. Thank you so much. Any other thing you want to add in general? And that's it. That's it. Thank you so much. Good morning, mommies and daddies.
I trust God that we are all doing well and we are all in good health. I thank God most especially for keeping my immediate family, my extended family, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, my friends all over the world for keeping us safe. It is by his mercy that we've not heard of any bad news and we'll never hear of any bad news in Jesus' name. My thoughts and prayers to those that have lost their loved ones to the COVID-19 disease. I pray that God will continue to strengthen you and you will continue to feel the presence and peace of God now than ever before. A big thank you to our frontline workers, to our healthcare workers who are working tirelessly to keep us in good health, to keep us safe and working tirelessly for a solution. I pray that soon, sooner than we expected that there will be a solution in Jesus' name. My experience with the COVID-19 disease has been challenging but rewarding. It started with me falling sick for two months and two weeks. I had a chest infection, but to the glory of God, I'm well and I'm back to work. The rewarding part of it is that I had quality time with my family, we did things that usually due to time constraint we we'll never had done before. I also thank God for the new wisdom, new experiences, um, trying other ways to keep me, um, to keep all my well-being altogether healthy for the new opportunities, indoor activities, outdoor activities that I had opportunities to do now. I just want to thank God for that added wisdom, for that added experience. I know that we are all heroes and we are all in this fight together, that in no time, this soon will be behind us. I love you and I've missed you all. And I hope that sooner than we expected, we'll be together again. And until then, remain blessed and bye for now. Hello family, how is everyone doing today? Okay, about COVID-19, honestly, this experience of um, quarantine, stay home and all of that is a big deal for all of us. But there are some basic principles that life has actually taught me in this whole situation. The first thing is that our souls are very, very important. That's actually a reminder about what the Bible says when it says, What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? There is practically nothing we can give in exchange for our souls. We have to take our relationship with God seriously. We have to be intentional about how we live our life. We have to be real about how we serve God, how we pay more attention to the things of God because the most valuable possession we have is our souls. And we have to make sure that our lives are right with God. The second thing, that I want to talk about is the fact that after God is your family. After God is your family. Anything can happen to anyone. But where do you run to? To your family members. So we have to be intentional as parents, as mother, as father. It's good that we want to make sure we have enough money to take care of our children. But the most important thing is for us to spend quality time with our family members. Husband, spend quality time with your wife. Wives, spend quality time with your husbands. And parents, let's create time for our children. It's very, very important. Family is very, very important. So apart from the fact that we buy gifts for each other, we make each other comfortable, Let's be intentional in spending quality time with each other. Lastly, 
Be grateful to God. Be grateful to God for everything. You can see those things that we have during this COVID-19. We couldn't even wear her clothing. We couldn't wear her, you know, her shoes. All of our possessions, they meant nothing to us. We just wanted to survive. In the heat of the situation, we just wanted to survive. So we have to always be grateful to God for everything. And it doesn't matter what situation you're going through right now. Just know that God is in that situation with you. No matter how hard, how soft the situation is right now, God is in hate with you. And every situation we are going through right now is a stepping stone to where you are going to in future. So instead of you blaming God and asking God questions, just focus on what you have and be appreciative. Focus on what you have because nobody has everything. No matter how rich you are, you don't have everything. But one thing for sure is we all have something. We all have something. If you look critically at your life, you will know that we all have something. And that's why you have to always thank God for that which you have. And now use what you have to get what you need. By appreciating God for everything you have, eventually he will answer your prayers and give you what you don't have. Thank you so much. I hope you were able to learn one or two things from this video. Thank you. God bless you. And remember to click the subscribe button. Bye for now.